What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Boys and girls, Becky, give another action video. Today, we're going to get into NF Intro 2. We have officially made it off of the Mansion album and are now into therapy session. So, intro went pretty hard on Mansion. Um, I'm expecting intro two to be pretty hard as well. I th I think that's probably a recurring theme he's gonna have. Like the intros are gonna be like, "Yo, hello, it's Nate. I'm back, bitches. What's up?" So we're gonna jump right into it. Hope you're having a good day. Come vibe with your boy. This must be where he starts to get that orchestra sound that he kind of developed because I'm hearing some I'm hearing some choir up in here sounds like a movie trailer I'm back they said the second record could be tricky Well that's kinda funny cause I am not tripping My fans they know what it is and they whip me Yeah I ain't the type to go ride with the semi I came from a town with three lights in no city Out there doing shows for nothing but pennies Well I lay the stage and never forget me Mention was a glimpse of my life I let you see what it's like to be in my head People ask me what I think I think I'd be doing If it was the music I'd rather be dead yeah. You heard what I said? That was like me at a three You don't wanna see me at ten or maybe you do I promise if that is the case and that is what you're gonna If you're looking for music recording that lyrics I promise that you need to go somewhere else And if you want somebody to tell you everything that you want to hear, I won't be any help. This song's familiar? I think I heard it before. Oh, yeah, I made it myself. I let the door open to come in my mansion, but I never said it's a beautiful house. Some of you sat on the porch, look at my windows and stared at my door. They asked me if I'm gonna kill it, this record. I left in their face and I asked him, Do you see the blood in the floor? He said it again, and if it's crazy, he's bad for the kids. He never talks about nothing but him. My face is kind of a deep. Well, you need to get some new friends. I'm as chill as he can. Till I get on the stage and flip on the switch. And I go to a place where nobody is. If you bring up my name in the song, there's something that you And I envisioned it This type of life It just ain't how I pictured it I'm in the back of the tour But trying to face To my family is different Then what you think it is Write a review Tell me what you think it is Give me three stars And call me an idiot But to be honest It don't make a difference I know some people don't get it But you have no into the therapy session If you don't like music That's personal I have no clue What your people are doing And might as well Throw off the record I pull up a chair I check in my music Like nobody's there Only person I judge Is the one in the mirror And lady ain't doing well I don't need y'all in my head I'm tired of hearing it You call it music I call it my therapist Think people telling me I Be clean when you play in the dirt. You gave me this place to go when I'm hurt. I thought it'd get better, but it's getting worse. And I got nobody to blame when I work. Like 24-7, I ain't been to church. And Satan keep calling me, he trying to flirt. I hang up the phone, these are more than just words. I drive on the highway and listen to mansion. I look up to God, like when did this happen? Yelling with all of my fans to wake up. I feel like I have it. I get nice. emotional, I didn't plan this. That's I'm doing dope. things I never imagined. I'm sorry, but I gotta leave. I don't wanna be late for my therapy session. <laughs> Alright. I love it. I love how he's he's dropping Easter eggs already. Uh, you know, he said, wake up. And I, obviously, I've done that song. So um, it's cool because when I did Hope, obviously, that just came out like a month ago or whatever. Um, you guys are like, yo, you don't even know the amount of Easter eggs, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, shit, let me start at the beginning. So here we are. And now I'm starting to get a little feel for him and what he's about. And he's starting to drop Easter eggs. And I'm getting it now because I'm like, oh, I've done that. So... I'm going to get more excited as the journey goes on. He drops some more Easter eggs. Now, this song, uh, he's going hard. He's saying a lot of stuff in here. I really like the line where he said, I've, I've been doing shows for pennies, but when I hit the stage, I leave it all out and they won't forget me. Something like that. Uh, basically saying that he's not really getting paid at this point in time. He ain't really making much money doing it, but he still gives it everything he's got and then some and those people remember that they're they're like holy shit who is this guy and imagine someone basically doing it for free almost he's doing it for pennies and he still is giving it everything else because it's about the craft it's about the art it's about the music it's not about the money man we've seen artists especially this last year where they have 200 fans show up 
at the club and they're like you know what ah, i performed two songs i'm out of here because it's not what i thought it was gonna be it wasn't a thousand fans like bro you still had 200 people pay to see you give them a show you know what i mean and a lot of these artists they're not really in it for the art it's they're in it because it's something cool to do something easy to do and they're making money and it's all about the money and it's like that's the difference between artists like that and artists like this okay where you have an artist where 100 fans show up and they're not performing for them because they have this ego and they're like oh 100 fans that's it i'm not performing for that bro they paid to see you those are your fans give them a show we that's messed up you obviously don't care about it nate would probably do it for one fan if one fan showed up nate would perform he probably would perform if no fans were there because he loves it that's the difference man so i like that line I like the bars in here. There was a lot I didn't catch. There was a lot. It was kind of overwhelming. But I like what he's saying. He's talking shit without coming across as like egotistical. Um, he's keeping it real. And he's saying this is the struggles that he's going through. And, you know, he's riding around listening to mansions. And he's asking God, when did, when did all this happen? And what's going on? Um, you know, he's FaceTiming his family in the back of the tour bus. Like things are different. Maybe it's not exactly what it seemed uh, or how he thought it was going to be. And I really like the way, that's something that I've noticed with NF, is just the realness of him, right? He's, he's talking about things that people can relate to, even though they're not going through a situation exactly like his, they could empathize with it and be like, dude, I, I, I'm glad you're touching on that. Like, artists don't talk about that. Maybe that's why it's called NF Real Music. It's just real music, man. Um... I also like the line where he said, you know, this is me at a three. If you want to see me at a 10, that's what you're going to get. And, you know, he kind of just gets more aggressive and he's just, he's just he has a buildup in this song and he gets more aggressive and pops off a little bit more. The only downside to this is the mix. I feel like the mix, his vocals get drowned out a little bit at certain parts because the instrumental is so big. The orchestra sounds are so big and grand and epic. They wash out his vocals just a little bit, and it makes it a little harder to understand what he's saying and focus on what he's saying. Um, I, that's the only thing I wish that the mix was a little bit better. And it's not a bad mix. It's just really the levels. I think maybe if his voice, because his voice sounds center for the most part, I feel like if it was just, I don't know, maybe 3 dB, 3, 4 dB higher, that might be too much. Maybe around there. No more than 5. Um... I feel like it would be just a little bit easier to understand and just kind of a little bit more in your face. It got washed out just a little bit at parts. That's the only downside. Um, and I wish it didn't because he's he's really saying a lot of good things and saying some real shit and his voice sounds good. I wanted to hear a little bit more and have it just a little bit more in my face. But other than that, solid intro to the album, right? Like I'm hyped to listen to the album now because I feel like he's just told me the whole story of how he's felt with that first album and how it's hard to make a second one and a follow-up and well this is what you're gonna get and let's get it i'm ready for this even though it's not what i pictured i'm in here and i'm getting it anyways and i'm doing it i'm doing everything i can i'm giving everything i got and i'm, I'm like hyped up like okay like imagine this is this just came out today and therapy session is coming out in like a week this would hype me up for the album like i think this is a great intro so dude i'm ready for more man I'm loving this NF journey a lot, and uh, I like this. The video is simple, too. That's another thing with NF videos. Most of the time, they're simple, at least in the beginning. I'm sure they get more elaborate as he gets a bigger budget, makes more money, gets better teams and resources throughout his career. It only makes sense that the videos match the music always. But uh, this, I think, is a great job. It's just this abandoned, like, foreclosed house in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you know, doesn't have anybody else in there. It's just him and probably, like, one or two crew guys i don't know if that you know it's just a camera and him you know it could just be a buddy um but it, it's effective because it gives you this empty feeling and this loneliness feeling and that's kind of how he is at least going through this stuff and i think that's why he wears a lot of black in the beginning he's, he's in it alone you know and maybe he's very pessimistic and very like um you know just not hoping for a lot just expecting things to be bad and dealing with it you know hope hope for the best but expect the worst kind of mentality and um you know I, I i'm guessing but we'll figure that out more as we get into the journey but i enjoyed this i did and he's a phenomenal writer man so i'm looking forward to more 
That'll do it for today's reaction video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment down below. It helps the channel grow, helps the YouTube algorithm. If you're new here and you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. I drop a video every single day. If you're not new here, welcome back. I appreciate the love and support as always. Thank you very much for showing up and showing love. You know what to do. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this. Let me know like what I'm in store for. Don't No spoilers, but let me know what's going on in the future with NF. What do I have to look forward to? Um, things in here I may have missed. That comment section is for y'all, okay? As well as, if you're a fan of NF or you're new to NF and you like him and you haven't done so already, be sure to support NF. Subscribe to his YouTube. Follow him on social media. Stream his music anywhere and everywhere you can stream music because support is number one for any artist, band, rapper, creator, entertainer, whoever's making content or music for you to enjoy and you do enjoy it, reciprocate that energy via support. So with all of that being said, I hope you're having a great day. I'm sending positive vibes your way and until next time, I'm out.